So how limited this little display is. Not much space on there. <coughs> what do we have for a code now? So we are displaying every second we switch between sensor 1 and sensor 2. We show the temperature of both sensors and then the time how long this thing is running in hours, minutes and seconds and we show the maximum temperature in the bottom and the minimum temperature to the range, right, and what we are working here for each sensor separate. And we switch around like every second. We could do this slower, but I'm gonna try this one here. Still having our two sensors there. And the whole electric wiring is the same as we had on the two other ones. Nothing changing there. So I made a few changes here to the program. Um, I have here the waiting time from sensor read 1 and 2. Then I need hours, minutes and seconds run time, so how long this thing is running. And then the minimal values of uh, my sensors cannot be lower than 40 or higher than 100 because my steam thing doesn't go more than 100 celsius uh, what else do we have here initializing the lcd here then uh, here i calculate the hours minutes and seconds for the lcd and print them on the lcd as a function here oh is this do i need to explain this I did this here. So I get the milliseconds, divide them by thousand, so I have the seconds. Then I divide the seconds by 60, I have the minutes, and I divide the seconds by 3600, then I have the hours. Then I subtract the... Ah! Oh. The overlapping minutes there, whatever, this is, uh, yeah, whatever. So this is how it's done, and if you don't understand it, then don't worry about it. Um, I set the cursor to 80, and then I print out in the format, as you can see on the display there. Here's the main loop. I read the two sensors. I calculate the Celsius for those two sensors. I calculate the minimum and maximum temperatures and then I display the numbers here for the sensor one first. I, I clear the LCD <coughs> and then I go and write the current temperature in degrees Celsius, temp one. I set the cursor one back to print the degree symbol on the screen. Then I print the time. Then I set the cursor to the lower line, print the maximum temperature, overwrite the last digit again with the degree symbol, um, do the same on the right with the minimum stuff, also overwrite it here, the last digit, with the degree, and then I do the same for temperature 2. And that's it.